What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Tap to the side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply that fly, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life situation, how they resonate, if they do resonate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Precious Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys um, from the bottom of my heart chakra. Okay, so I received a channeling in. My hair is all funky. I'm trying to adjust it. Um, I received a channeling in, and so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. It's kind of rainy here in Huntsville, Alabama. A um, little thunderstormy. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, a pregnant Libra and um, an illegal business, uh, illegal family business blown all to hell is about to become very, very, very significant in the universe. That's what I heard. <sighs> you plug it in, how it resonates, man. That's why I don't, I don't speak my family. <laughs> I don't have to worry about any illegal family businesses blowing all to hell. It's just me now. All I had was just me and my two kids, and they ain't even here no more. So. I don't know, whoever this is in the universe. A pregnant Libra, so obviously they have femme parts. I feel they are feminine energy. They might have feminine masculine parts, but definitely femme parts. Feminine Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter, charge, and an illegal family business that has blown all to hell. Um, so it sounds like it's already blown all to hell in the energetic space. Um, it's about to become very significant in the universe. And a very angry Aquarius. And a very angry Aquarius. God. Heard that loud. And a very angry Aquarius. <laughs> Apparently. Is about to become very, very, very significant in the universe. So you plug it in how it resonates. I don't know, man. <laughs> Whoever these people are to you. I feel like you guys know these people. Or you're connected to them, or you're in this illegal family business, or was connected to the illegal family business, or you helped this illegal family business blow all to hell, or you impregnated the Libra, or you know the Libra, or you know the angry Aquarius. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just me and my kitties. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have to focus. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel reversed. Solar plexus. Hey, quit clawing my chair, man. Storm warning. Angry Aquarian energy. The illegal business blowing all to hell. I mean, uh, it might be the storm warning. Could be for the pregnant Libra, possibly. Um, I don't know. Um. I have been pregnant a long time myself, and no more buns in this oven ever, ever, ever. So, um, storm warning, chaos, conflict, angry Aquarian, uh, masculine or femme Aquarius. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in him or Jupiter charts. There's a reason this Aquarius is angry. Whoever this Aquarius is to this situation, but somehow a pregnant Libra is significant in this situation. A family business is blown all to hell is significant in this situation, and an angry Aquarius. So I think they're all in this family unit together. Um, how do they resonate? Storm warning, chaos and conflict. Number 10, completions of cycles. 
Um, so completions of cycles, a number tends to be a very significant number in one's life, possibly. And the solar plex is reversed. Someone knew not to do this illegal family business in the past, but they did not listen to their spirit guides and they did not listen to others. And now they're about to seriously pay for it in the universe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. And they're, oh my God. Okay. Yep. Storm warning. Woman holding a coin reversed. Um, goddess of the moon reversed. They didn't listen to their intuition in the, um, in the past. One of these is definitely a femme energy. The Aquarius may be a femme too, or masculine takes on heavy femme, but we're pulling two femme cards here. Woman holding a coin reversed and goddess of the moon reversed, which is high priestess reversed in this deck. Did not listen to their intuition. I feel these are femme energies. Um, there's money loss here. I feel there's going to continue to be money loss. I heard the family business is already blown out of hell. Now, whatever kind of family business, business it is, but it's an illegal one. So it might do with drugs. It might do with prostitution. It might do with pedophile rings. It might do with money laundering or I, hell, I don't know. I didn't hear specifically what it was, but it's something criminal. It's something illegal. And it's something that has blown all to hell with the storm warning. Um, I think there's some kind of health issues going on here. Because we have solar plexus reversed, which, you know, that could be abdominal area, GI area, things like that. Um, and that could be lack of intuition. I uh, heard they, uh, whoever this Libra, pregnant Libra, and apparently this Aquarius, whether it's masculine or female Aquarius, they did not listen to their intuition in the past. They were greedy. They went for the money. But now it's blown up in their face. Storm warning upright. And I heard it's going to continue to blow up in their face. I think they're in the same family, possibly. Or connected with this illegal family business. But I do feel they're family members, possibly. Or it could be in-laws, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates, man. These people feel trapped in this, and they, they are going to be with legal issues. These people feel trapped in this, and they're going to be with legal issues. So I heard these people feel trapped in this, and they're going to be with legal issues. So they feel entrapped in it, but I heard they were basically guided by their ancestors and their spirit guides in the past, so their own intuition, goddess of the moon upright their spirit guides, their own inner intuition and knowing and um, guidance not to do it. But they did it anyway. So now they're basically ha about to have to pay the piper, um, which is sad. I feel for some they could have conjured up dark entities or because this is an illegal family business. So they could, could have used black magic in the past possibly for some. I didn't hear they did, but I feel maybe they did. But you plug it in how it resonates, man. Oh.
a dirty investigator is about to lose their job over this. And someone's about to be arrested for identity theft. The identity thiever, female. This is about to blow up in a huge way. Okay, I heard a tourist investigator is about to lose their uh, dirty tourist investigator. A door, dirty tourist investigator is about to lose their job over this. Um, so, some kind of investigator energy. Um, I don't feel they're a private investigator, because usually private investigators, I think they have their own businesses. So, I think they're hired by somebody to be an investigator, or they're an investigator in a company, or for the state, or for the feds, or something. Uh, how that resonates, but they are a dirty investigator. So, that bribing, bribing set up, um, taking money on the back end, um, not doing what's in the best interest, basically. Um, dirty asset people. Um, but it's a Taurus. They can be masculine and Taurus. They can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Feminine, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charles. I heard a Taurus is about to be fired over this. So they're about to be nixed. So somebody employs this Taurus, whether it's the government, the state, uh, police, or what have you, what have you. And because um, they're dirty. They're dirty. And apparently people know they are because um, this family business has just blown up. Blown all the hell. I was going to continue to blow all the hell. And um, what was the other one? Um, there was another one. You have to plug it in how it resonates. I don't know, man. This is some sick shit. It just is. But that's what you get when you play with sick shit. I didn't hear anything else. Uh, but somehow a pregnant Libra is significant in here. Uh, we've got money loss all over the place. People didn't listen to their spirit guides, their ancestors, their intuition. As far as this dirty um, illegal business, business in the past. They were warned in the 3D and the spiritual realm. They did not listen. They were warned in the 3D and the spiritual realm and they did not listen. And people are sick in this family group. And they wonder why. And people are sick in this family group and they wonder why. Well, dear God Almighty. So, I don't know, man. This is sick. The crazy crap happens in the universe all the time, man. I'm a very healthy single femme energy. And I got, my kids aren't here with me. I mean, crazy weird shit happens all the damn time. That shouldn't happen. Including this crap. Fair messages you have like this. Oh, I heard, um, uh, oh my God. I heard legal issues coming. This is what we got. Um, I heard uh, feminine energy is about to get arrested for, um, identity theft. The identity, identity thief. So, um, whoever, I think she's in this family and I didn't hear a sign on her. That was the other one. So, she has identity thief someone. Uh, and somehow she's included in this illegal family business. So I heard she's about to be arrested soon. So um, she's significant in here too. She might be the Aquarius. She might be the Libra. She might be no sign. But she has a stolen somebody's identity. Um, identity th uh, theft. She's about to be arrested soon. That could be the storm warning too. Not listening to intuition. Money loss. Etc. 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 Courthouse, distant horizons. I heard these people are about to be caught up in heavy legal issues. Um, legal issues with courthouse and upcoming, which is futuristic energy, distant horizons. Number 36 or 23 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 36 or 23, you plug it in, how it resonates, okay?
And I didn't hear anything else, but I heard these people, um, they're ready to regret it, and they're about to regret it more because of legal issues. I mean, it's clear as day with the messages in the cards. Legal issues, courthouse, it's upcoming in the universe. It's uh, It hasn't happened yet. It's about to. Futuristic energy. Distant horizon. Now, for some of these people, it could be long distance. For some, it could be short. Upcoming. Short distance. But, you know, this is definitely hasn't happened yet. Energy. Distant horizon. Oh, my God. Or I didn't hear anything else. I was waiting to see if I did. And someone's about to get an invite out soon. To hang out. Not as a date. They're going to learn some very important information. They are an estranged family member of this toxic family. This estranged family member will take action. Know this. Okay, and someone, okay, so we have this toxic family dynamic in here um, that's in the shit, um, and they're about to continue to be in the shit, apparently, uh, just saying, but there's an estranged family member of this situation, estranged means they do not communicate with this family, they do not interact with this family, they have blocked their energy, their time, and hopefully their money from this family, so they do not, they don't communicate, associate with this family, but they are Gen um, bloodline connected to the family in some shape, form, or fashion, basically. I heard they're about to get invited out soon. I heard not on a date for hanging out. So, somebody's about to invite them out soon. Like, a night on the town, a night, like, to, excuse me, to dinner, to drinks, hanging out, throwing axes, fishing, something fun, whatever it is. But I heard specifically it's not a date. It's just going to be like a connection, like a hanging out kind of thing. Um, but I heard when this estranged family member, this toxic family dynamic basically, gets invited out, it sounds like whoever's about to invite them out, they're about to do it for strategic reasons. Very strategic reasons to help this person. Very strategic reasons to help this person. Okay, so whoever's about to invite this person out, that's confirmation in here. They're about to do it for very strategic reasons to help this person. So to give them, strategically invite them out to give them this information, basically. And I heard it's not a date. It's not a date. It's to give them this part, uh, information in a public setting, basically. So one, not to freak this estranged family member out. And two, so they have the information. Because I heard once the estranged family member gets the information, they're going to take action. And I think it might be legal action. I didn't hear it was, but I strongly feel it might be. I think this toxic family dynamic has done something to this estranged family member. Um, and this other person about to invite them out knows it. And so that's why they want to invite them out to help. But they want to invite them out in like a public setting as not a date, just a hanging out kind of thing, in a public social setting. So it one, it doesn't freak the estranged family member out. And two, um, you know, so it's, you know, it's not like a creepy DP, I'm going to cut you up into 50 million pieces and hide you in my trunk kind of situation. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to be safe. But whoever is about to invite this person out as a hanging out and not friends, they know this estranged family member. They know them either currently in the energetic space or as a person of their past. How that resonates. For some, you could be the one about to invite this estranged family member out, possibly for some. Or you could be the estranged family member. Or you could be a member of this toxic family dynamic with all this this pregnant Libra, this uh, angry Aquarius, this whaty, 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 whaty over here. This illegal family business blowing all to hell and what have you. Okay. I feel got to get one more for 
uh, for an, I just for some reason I feel like getting another one. Spirit messages here. Change. Number nine could be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number nine. There's about to be huge changes here. And someone's about to get package after 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 package at their door. Large packages. Gifts. Holy crap moly. Um, I didn't hear specifics on that. Let's see if we hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. Uh, you, pl you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so huge changes here. Huge changes. 555 five, five, change energy. So, I mean, moving. It's moving. It's moving. Whether you think it's moving, it's moving. Uh, if anybody plugs into this, it, it's moving. Okay? No matter where you fall on the spectrum here. Um, wherever you are in this. Hopefully not in this bullshit, but for some, I feel you might be. Um... It's moving. And I heard somebody's about to start getting package after package after, like, a ton of freaking packages. I heard large packages at their door soon. Um, gifts. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh, I wonder if this person is a minimalist. They, I don't think they probably appreciate the packages, but I don't know. I mean, it really all depends what's in them. I heard their gifts, but, like, for example, me, I'm moving at the end of the month. If I receive 20 million large package gifts at my door, they probably go to the damn trash. And that's just the truth, because I'm about to move the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm a gift card kind of gal. Gift card and donation kind of gal. But somebody's about to receive a shit ton of packages at their front door. I'm, just, I'm just being for real. I heard gifts. So, you know, some people are materialistic, and they like that. I don't. I like gift cards, and I like money. So I can use the money to do what I need to do. Like, move the hell out of here. And that's just the truth. But some of you guys might like that. And that's just the truth. All right, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Well, I hope this helped and love y'all. Namaste.